Hello everyone, what's up? So I know it's been about a month since I've done a video and it's just so much is going on now that things are opening up and it's just a lot going on. So I thought, well, you know what, we'll take a break from YouTube and I'll get back to it when I can do another review for you guys. So I do have a new meter. I talked about this in the last video that I did. I wanted to do another meter review for you guys. So I decided to do the really want, really on, really on I don't really know how to pronounce it but it's Walmart this was about nine dollars the thing about this is it doesn't come with test strips I don't think or a lancing device so it only comes with the meter but let's open it up and see what it is Give me one second. okay so first thing that I pulled out is the log book you have a self-testing log book so this is kind of what it looks like. Breakfast, dinner, um, during the day, lunch. You can always log it in there. And it doesn't. It also has customer service on there if you need to call them. Then it has a manual on how to work the diabetic meter. The next thing that it has is kind of step by step how do you do it. Which if you're a diabetic or if you're a brand new being if you're a brand new diabetic, um, definitely check this out. If you've been a diabetic for a while and you just wanted to get another meter, I don't think you're necessarily going to need this, but I mean, you can always have it just in case. And it comes with a little pouch. Okay. And the only thing that it has in this pouch is the meter, and it is a red meter. I think I've used one of these before that we used to have at my church. I'm not really sure. Okay. And then you get it out, and it has a little Velcro thing on the bottom. Uh, on the back, I mean, so you can just Velcro it back to your little pouch. I'm going to take the little sticker off right there. Okay, maybe. I'm just going to take this little pouch thing off. And so I accidentally went ahead and just turned it on. Uh, all I did was hit this little black button when I was trying to take it off, and then it says the time and the date, which is 944 a.m. which I'm currently at 10:44 a.m. and then it has the date which is um, the last day of August which is kind of crazy okay so it's asking for a test strip and one of the things that I didn't know whenever I bought the meter was that it didn't come with test strips so if you're just buying this package all it's gonna have is just the meter so make sure you buy the test strips and I want to say this one was like 10 ish dollars it might have been cheaper than that I honestly cannot remember but it's at Walmart. It's the Walmart brand, I think. Um, and it's the cheapest one, so I decided to go with this one. So by just looking at it, it looks like the test strips from the Limbago meter. This is kind of a struggle. Okay. So comes in this thing. And then pop it open. Um, no, it's not. So I thought they were going to be extremely long like the Lombago strips are, but honestly, it looks about the same length as the Contour Next. And I left the Contour Next one, like, literally right here, because I was like, you know what? You might have to test both of them to see if they come with this thing. Oh, so actually, it's a lot... Nope, it's the same size. So if you look, this is the con this is the um, Really One, or Really One, on, whatever. This one's the Contour Next one. So let me grab an alcohol swab. Like I said, it doesn't come with a lancing device, so definitely make sure you have one of those. And a lancing device is basically where you put the needle in here, and then it'll pop out the needle in your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and put the test strip in. And so this is the part right here where you're going to put in the meter. And you put it at the bottom. Okay, this is what it looks like. Well, oh, man, you can really see me. I don't think you can really see it. <laughs> But what it has is basically like any kind of meter it has um, just waiting for the blood. So let's do a alcohol swab. Again, this is the Sam's brand, the Members Mark brand. Still have plenty of those when we got them a couple months ago. Okay, so I'm going to be using the right hand ring finger. Okay, and let's get a needle. The needles I'm using is still from the Lumbago one. If you guys haven't watched my videos before, uh, my husband's work actually covers, or my husband's insurance, um, screen went blurry, sorry, <laughs> um, covers my Lumbago stuff so I don't have to pay for it, but I want to keep doing this meter review for you guys so you know which one's the best one. Okay, so I have the needle in there, 
have it set on three, and then let's rock and roll. Okay, push out the blood, and then oh. So the first thing that I don't like is trying to get the blood on this thing. Okay, so odd. Um, actually, I want to wipe my finger. So what happened was most things, like if I think of the contour next one, it's a very thin um, line where the blood goes. Hope you guys don't get grossed out by blood, but this one is a very thick line, so trying to get all that blood on there was difficult. Um, so it is 114 according to this meter. Let's look at my dice pumps. I know before I recorded this video or started recording this video, I want to say it was like 140. Oh, actually, no. So we're at 118. So cool. Well, at 118, that's only four points off. You guys know I am a huge fan of the Contour Next 1 meter. So let's just double check and make sure everything's right. Um, so far, but other than that, I really like this meter. It was very fast, very simple. You're not going through a gazillion and 20 steps. You just know exactly what you need to do and get your blood sugar very fast and it's quite big enough so um you can see it if you have a hard time seeing it's a big enough meter so you can just, like barely glance at it and you can see that it says 114 for the contour next is a little bit skinnier so it makes it a little bit more difficult to um see i'm using my left ring finger my left hand okay Let's try this again. Also, I wanted to let you guys know I did get my thyroid tested again. <laughs> I feel like I've been testing my thyroid literally all the time. Also, don't know what's going on with this hair today. Um, but my thyroid was perfectly normal again. So I I don't know. I did get the antibody test for Hashimoto's. So I do currently have Hashimoto's disease, but it's not like affecting uh, my thyroid right now. My levels are all good. But I do have the antibody test that did say I have Hashimoto's. A low case of it. I think that's what my doctor said. Okay, let's try this again. Pushing out the blood, and then my contour next one. And we're waiting, see that takes, that one counts it down. 117, so we're all around the same area. They were about um, this one, which it goes off pretty fast. This one was 114, my Dexcom said 118, and then my contour next said, contour next one said 117. So all around pretty good. I like this for the most part. I'm not a crazy, like, I'm not crazy, crazy over the strips. Um, it's a small place. I just feel like trying to get the blood up there is a little bit um, wider than what I would like. It makes it a little bit more difficult where the contour next goes directly up the strip, so it makes it a little bit faster. But it's not like a deal breaker at all. Uh, I will say the strips are smaller than the Lumbago one, and if you guys have watched my videos about the Lumbago meter, I am not a fan of how long they are. They are about, like, this-ish long so you gotta get more blood out of your fingers so if your fingers are you know like hurt from where you've been trying to prick your fingers so much it does make it more difficult but this one was significantly easier so I would definitely recommend this one if you are a brand new diabetic it's very easy uh, you don't have to go through extra steps you guys know I will always trust my contour next one over anything but for the most part they were all around the same area so I really like it um, if you guys like my meter reviews or if you have a meter you want me to try let me know in the comments below and if you like my meter reviews please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe bye guys